and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a second instalment of how to pose and direct a couple on wedding day portraits. So wedding day portraits are the most important part of a wedding day. They've got married and these are the photographs they're going to treasure and love forever. So no pressure, these are going to be printed and on the mantelpiece framed for all their family and friends to see. So it's so important you take the time for them to enjoy this so it's all part of an experience. So I'm going to go through with you what I would typically do with a wedding couple for ideas, for posing and for portraits and to get some beautiful moments they can treasure forever. Touch the sky and chase the stars. Oh. So I'm shooting it today on a 50mm lens 1.4 Sigma Art. I'm also shooting in aperture priority. So this is, I think, a game changer when you shoot mirrorless because you can see exactly what you're shooting, the exposure to live time. So you're not really gonna miss a shot and you know the results you're gonna get every single time. So this is the lovely William and Jessica. Hey guys. <laughs> so what I'm gonna get the couples to do typically is I'm gonna get them to walk and this is the first I get all my wedding couples to do. Really, really easy. It's a really good icebreaker. If you guys hold hands and just walk towards me, just keep chatting. This is a really good icebreaker because I think if you said to them straight away, go forehead to forehead, start kissing, it's a bit much for when you're just starting out with portraits because you want to build them up so they're comfortable. So Jessica and Will, they're naturally very affectionate. They know what they're doing. So what I'm doing is I'm going far away and then I'm also going to step. So if you hold that guy, that's beautiful. And then what I would do, I'll also going to go close up to the flowers, the back of them as well, the back of the dress, seeing all these beautiful details that the bride and groom have purposely chosen on their wedding day because they might forget how their dress fell, what their flowers looked like, what kind of flowers were they, how their hair looked what kind of accessories they had. Perfect, so I'm gonna get you guys to go this way so you're lit by the sun flare. So what you guys do, if you hold hands and walk that way. Mm -hmm. you stop there for me. And what I want you to do is I want you to kind of turn your back to Will, wrap your arms around Jess for me. Perfect. So this is an opportunity to get them quite close up. You can get the bouquet, you can get the flowers. So for this, I might start with the flowers. So I have a detail shot of the flowers because there's a gorgeous bouquet. And the ribbons. The couples who might not be as affectionate or as confident, you can just keep talking to them, tell them to whisper in the ear, nuzzle their noses, nuzzle her neck like a cat. There's lots of techniques and things you can say as prompts to couples. So this time, if you guys hold that for me, and I get Jess to look straight into camera for me. Gorgeous. That's lovely. So how I work is I kind of keep it really, really organic, really, really natural, and kind of let them take the lead, but give them kind of direction and nudges that seem natural. And just kind of gauge it from couple to couple, like how much direction they need. So for more adventurous couples, you can do this. That's it. Lovely, did you flip that out? Lovely, gorgeous. <gasps> So pretty. That's beautiful. And then what you to do, Will, is I'm gonna get you to spin, Jess. On the kettle free, and go! Cute. So I'm gonna do shots like that. I would do a burst mode, so I take about 15 to 20 shots, and the odds are, in that rotation, you might get two or three that are in focus, and when she's like laughing and the hair's moving. So, because this is more of a kind of relaxed vibe, we've got kind of long grass, it's a bit bohemian. I've brought a blanket with me. Now, not all wedding couples this is gonna be suitable for, depending on what venue you have, but for this, I think this is really appropriate because you've got like flowers and long grass. I'm gonna let you guys to sit. So I'm gonna shoot at like 1.6 aperture. So it's really, really dreamy. So all that long grass is just really, really hazy, really, really romantic. 
And then what I'm going to do as well, I love long grass because it's just makes for really romantic photos is that if you go into it, you've also got the long grass actually in your lens, in the kind of foreground. And it's you that I want. So I'm gonna photograph their hands, the bouquet, cropping at certain angles. It is beautiful, that's so lovely guys. So I think it's really important to, if you can, to change positions as much as possible because what I've done there, they're like a hundred pictures of them in the same position. So I think it's always worth kind of securing some shots that are in a different position. So you've got variety. So this pose is a bit more adventurous. It is a bit of an Instagram cliche. I really like it. I get requests for this a lot with couples. I do some couple shoots, engagement shoots, if it's appropriate, if it's like you have the setting for it. With this particular kind of setting, I feel like it is appropriate because of the kind of the vibe, the look. So you can get them to lie opposite ends. And I'm literally gonna stand over them and say, hey. <laughs> so if you guys, gorgeous. And if you look straight into my lens. And then nestle your noses like Eskimos. And then what I want you to do, Will, I want you to lick Jess's nose for lols. Go. <laughs> so that's a quick little okay. trick you can do to people to set them up. So I wouldn't take the picture of him licking her nose, but I'd get the reaction of her laughing um, to create natural laughter. So while you're there, I'm gonna get Will to swivel that way. And then you're gonna rest on Will's chest. about kind of changing angles as much as possible so I can get lots of options flip my screen out and see what's happening that's beautiful and if you both that's it nestle and both close your eyes and like sink your breathing so if I want to kind of generate a really tender moment I kind of slow it down drop my voice and let them just have a really tender moment so I'm gonna get some bridal portraits of the lovely bride and then I get some the portraits if you look down at your bouquet that's yeah stunning gorgeous stunning if you look over your shoulder and then if you drop your bouquet kind of like in your hand and let it flow and if you walk towards the light for me. Typically when you have a groom on their wedding day, they're quite nervous. William's not nervous. However, <laughs> lots of grooms tend to be and that's very natural. So I want to make sure that their buttonhole is kind of looking sharp because obviously this part of the day, they've had a few drinks, they've got married, you know, you're like proper chill. <laughs> so a really good way to start is to put their hands in their pockets and that way they're nice and relaxed. Go super close, get your buttonhole, and then eyes over here. And then I want you to like imagine you're fixing your collar and your that's lovely, your imaginary cufflings that you haven't got. <laughs> Perfect. We'll bring Jessica in for one last round, and typically that's that's it on a wedding day. <laughs> And I want you guys to do is walk towards me and give me your best. Woohoo! We just got married! <laughs> so for this, I'm gonna get them walking. I'm gonna literally just shoot burst. And then, right, you ready? ready. Yay! Cute! Super cute. Ah. But that is typically what I would do on a wedding day. You have typically 20 minutes for a wedding day, so you've got to be quick and you've got to keep that pace going, keep the energy going and make it an unforgettable experience for them. So it's really fun and romantic. So 
take your time. If you do feel flustered, if you have posing block, just take your time and just, you don't have to keep talking, just stop, think about what you're doing and just read what they're doing and keep watching them and just enjoy it most importantly. So thank you so much for joining me for today's video and I'll see you soon.